students welcome back to my channel CK Advance myself Dr. Suresh Brother in this video we are going to discuss the derivation of Cauchy integral formula first we shall discuss what is the statement of a Cauchy's theorem Cauchy integral formula then we are going to discuss proof of the Cauchy integral formula in the last class or in the last video we have discussed the proof of Cauchy's theorem if z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve c then integration of f of z dz over a curve c is equal to c but this is different one if f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve c it is in this manner so this is some closed curve we can call it as a c okay closed curve c so z is analytic in this and on this boundary okay then there is a point here z is equal to a is the point a is inside this curve if it contain inside this curve then what will happen f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integration of f of z divided by z minus into dz curve c this we need to prove. So look at it is very easy one. Proof is very simple, students. Since look at since the point A is inside C or within C, we shall enclose this. We shall close this point or enclose this or enclose this by by a circle okay call it as curve c1 okay close it by a circle and call it as a c1 okay. with Look at with z equal to a, z equal to a, this z is equal to a is the center and r, let us take r is the radius. Okay. So, what does the curve C1 represent? Curve C1 is a circle with center z is equal to a and the radius is r. Super. And observe. And observe that such that such that the curve C1 entirely lies inside C. C1 lies inside C. So if C1 lies inside C, okay, now let me come back by using consequence of Cauchy's theorem later on. So and also remember that also, it's also very important also. Uh, if you know that f of z is analytic, okay, it implies that f of z divided by z minus a is also Analytic. Okay. Also analytic. Analytic where inside inside and on and on on the boundary of boundary of the Annular reason. What is annular reason here? Annular reason is like an island. So this is the annular reason. So between the C1 and C. Annular reason C and C1. So then if these two are happening, these two are happening means one is first curve, curve C1 lies within C, 
and f of z is analytic okay so by the help of a consequence of a cauchy's theorem what will happen by consequence of a cauchy's theorem by consequence of cauchy's theorem you know that integration over f of z divided by z minus a over curve c is also same as f of z divided by z minus a into dz over curve c so keep it the left side as it is and you concentrate only for the second, second curve is what c1 what is c1 c1 is a circle circle with what center z is equal to a and radius is r so we can write this in the form of a complex number what is the equation of a circle with uh, z is equal to a is the center and r is the radius in terms of a cartesian form you people are already aware that center radius form but here in in case of a complex number we are writing it as a what a modulus of z minus a is equal to r it is the equation of a circle with the center at a and radius r minutes okay so now this can be also written as z is equal to r z minus a is equal to r e raised to i theta so if i take this one and take modulus of modulus both side for this so modulus of this complex number right side is a complex number r e raised to i theta in terms of a exponential form or polar form the modulus becomes r only okay so now what is z value here z is equal to a plus a plus r e raised to i theta a plus r e raised to i theta fine so now you differentiate this differentiating what will get differentiate z with respect to theta dz is equal to a is 0 r is a constant e raised to i theta is e raised to i theta again i theta is i theta is d theta so i differentiated and also remember that here theta varies from 0 to 360 degree theta lies between 0 to 2 so look at right side okay I am going to substitute f of z is equal to z is equal to what f of z is equal to a plus r e raised to i theta okay divided by z minus a z minus a is equal to r e raised to i theta into dz dz is equal to this is i r e raised to i theta into d theta so r e raised to i theta r e raised to i theta get cancel which is equal to which is equal to this is again you can remember integral runs from 0 to 2 pi theta runs from 0 to 2 pi so this is f of a plus r e raised to i theta you can take i outside super further so this is true for any value of r greater than 0 this is true this is true for any value of r greater than 0 so if i take as r tends to 0 r tends to 0 what will happen left side is integration of integration of f of z divided by z minus a into dz over a curve c is equal to as r tends to 0 this is i times of theta runs from 0 to 2 pi r tends to 0 this will become 0 just you have f of a into d theta okay fine let me go for next slide 
So what is left side students? Left side is integration of f of z divided by z minus a over a curve c into dz is equal to i times of f of a is constant you can take it outside so what is remaining 1 d theta given 0 to 2 pi theta runs from 0 to 2 pi so integrate this integrate this integration of 1 is theta between 0 to i f of a upper limit is 2 pi minus lower limit is 0 or this is 2 pi i into f of a what is left side f of z divided by z minus a dz is equal to 2 pi i into f of a or you can also write f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i f of z divided by z minus a to dz over the curve. So this is the Cauchy integral formula derivation. There is a generalization of a Cauchy's theorem that this is nth derivative of f at the point a is equal to this is n factorial divided by 2 pi i this is f of z divided by z minus a whole raised to n plus 1 dz over the curve c. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll meet in the next video.